Hello friends, welcome to Love to Code. My name is Nawaz and in this video I am going to talk about one of the interview questions which was asked in Zoho Corporation that is given a string, expand a given string. For example, given string is A1, E2, C4 and Q2. So we have to expand the string in this format that is A, E, E, C, 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 Q, Q. The logic behind this is after a there is 1 that means we have to expand a for once after e there is 2 we have to expand e twice and after c there is 4 so we have to expand c four times after q there is 2 so we have to expand q twice this is a problem statement so there will be given a input string we have to expand in this format let us also see few other test cases so other sample input and output are so R3, D4, A2, C5. So R is printed thrice, D is printed four times, A is printed two twice, and C is printed five times. So here is another input and output R T T T T three. So this becomes an invalid. So this is not invalid input. And we'll see another input here R355. So, this is also an invalid input. So, we should handle even these cases. So, let's uh, analyze you. Let us analyze this input string and uh, try to solve this problem. In interviews, uh, whenever a problem statement is given, so the interviewer will just give you basic test cases. For example, in this case, String was given like a1, b2, c3, o3, f1, etc. So we have to print a, b, b, 0, 0, 0, um, o, o, f. So this will be our output. And what they will do is we'll handle for this kind of test cases as well as another test case was uh, invalid one. So we will tell this is, is was invalid. You also should take care of other test cases such as what if uh, the string contains only alphabet and there are no numbers so that will also be an invalid string. So what if uh, a string contains only numbers that is 2, 3, 4, 5 how to handle this this was also will be invalid. So we should also analyze the different kinds of test cases and then we need to uh, solve the problem. So to solve this problem, I will be taking care use of ASCII values. As in previous video, I have spoken how to crack Zoho interview programming round and advanced programming round. There, I have given a tip of uh, about ASCII values whenever you are trying to solve a given string problems. So the approach for to solve this problem will be like I will check whether the string as a even length if the string is of even length it will it is a valid if it is odd then it means it is invalid how see after one character there is one number so there should be at least there this string should contain pairs so it should be in even so if it is even it is valid one and if it is odd it is invalid one first i will check whether the string length is odd if the string length is odd i will return it as invalid so after that and there will be uh, so I will take indexes for the string I will convert the string into a character array so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so all the even positions will be a character and all the odd positions will be a number so I will be looping through uh, 0 to 7 and I will check and I will uh, in one loop I will take uh, well one iteration I will take two characters that is zeroth index and first index and then I will have a temporary string string temp where I will concatenate this character with the number of times it should be repeating so let us start coding and uh, see a solution with different test cases in order to save time i have already written code let me explain you line by line here i am using a scanner class to read the input from the user then i have written a while loop with the condition true this is because whenever we are in the interview there might be chances that there will be n number of test cases 
for each test cases you don't want to run your program so what i will do is i will write a while loop where inside it will be always true so after executing one test case again it will start from the beginning so here i am printing the test case stats and then i am asking the user to enter an input string so this input string is read into a str variable that is a string variable and then i am converting a str string to a character array ch after that i am checking whether it is of even length or odd if it is of odd length then i am telling that it is an invalid string since uh, in a string a uh, character is followed by a number so it will be in pairs so it should be always in even after that i am declaring a string variable temp which will be empty and then i am trying to uh, iterate through a string so while iterating through a string and uh, that is the odd position will be a character and a even position will be a number i am having a check for that so i am using uh, ascii codes to check this since i don't know exact ascii value of zero what i will do is directly i will take a zero as a character and then concatenate it to a integer this will give us ascii value of zero and also here what i am doing is uh, here i am checking for ascii value of nine so whatever the character in a character array it always stores the value in ascii values so i am checking whether the number at the even position is uh, number uh, the character at the even position is a number or not and then the character at the odd position is a character or not which is from a to z suppose the interviewer asks you to handle for uppercase as well you can add another condition here and change this value for capital a and capital z so if here we are checking for a proper format of an input string after that what i am doing is i am taking the uh, number and concatenating and making it a string and then using a integer dot parse int method i am converting a string into a integer now i got to know the integer value and the character that needs to be concatenated for number of times i am using a while loop inside a while loop i am concatenating the character to a output string that is temp once this is done i am coming out of the loop and then i am incrementing uh, i value to twice this is done because uh, the input format string format is that it contains a character and a number so we have processed a character and a number we should need to go to next set so this is in terms of pairs so i am incrementing it by twice this same process continues until we reach the end of a string once we reach the end of a string we'll come out and see, you can see that here i have used a break statement uh, to uh, terminate the process if the given string is invalid so also have initialized temp to empty so what actually is uh, i am doing here is i'm checking whether a temp string is empty or not if it is empty i'm not going to print the output already i would i would have printed it is an invalid string so in order to avoid uh, improper output i have added this condition once uh, if the string contains a valid answer we will be printing the result of a expanded string and then i again i will end the test case again this while loop will continue for another test cases it will be very much easy for you uh, to handle different test cases so i have written this while loop true it is also recommended for you to split this main method in different methods you can also take this for loop out from here and you can put this in another method and call that method and you can maintain a proper decent coding so in this video since i wanted you to tell you that we should not um, i put everything inside a main method we should also take this changes and we should uh, use another method and call that method from main method uh, to, in order to tell you i have written like this so let me run this code and check whether this code works or not so let me try with different test cases here is the input so our first test case will be 
a once b twice c thrice b four times so our output will be a is printed once b is printed twice c is printed thrice and d is printed four times so let me check for an invalid string a a so this will be an invalid string oh my god so there is some error in my program let me see what is the error oops so i had made a small error in this program here i had put a not for this condition actually i have used a not outside so it gave me an error like uh, we were missing this condition so never we tried it was giving a number format exception this not should not be present here so i have removed let me save this program and run and try with the same sample output so it is an invalid string so let me try with different test cases what if only numbers it is an invalid what if we are giving a number followed by a num character a character followed by a number and again a character and we are not providing any number so it is an invalid string so this is our implementation for expand a given string there are other versions of expand a given string which was as in zoho interview so i will be solving that in upcoming videos Notedly, i have missed one test case do let me know in comment section what is the test case that needs to be handled in this program so thanks for watching this video please like subscribe and share